Good morning, it's July 2021 in Virginia, and that means that recreational use of marijuana is now legal. So we're gonna do a two-part video series on marijuana use in Virginia. So stay with me, we're gonna get down into the weeds of what's legal, what's not legal, and what's uncertain at this point. This video series is intended to help you and give you some general information. If you need information that's specifically tailored to your facts and you want some legal advice, then please get in touch. So before we get into the substance of today's video, I just want to give a quick thank you to the 200 or so people who have subscribed to this video series in the last year. It kind of blows my mind. Thank you so much for subscribing. I started this a year ago when COVID hit, or a little over a year ago, just with the goal of giving people free information that could help them survive the pandemic. And here we are a little over a year later, and I love doing these videos. My hair's not brown anymore. <laughs> and I have 200 subscribers. So I'm not sure how all that happened, but um, we'll stay true to our original mission of just giving free information that's intended to be helpful. Um, and we'll see what happens. So if this is a good, helpful video to you, please like, subscribe, share it. Um, let's grow this audience even more. If there are subjects you want me to talk about, leave me a comment down below and I will um, consider doing a video series in the future on an issue that you're thinking about. Before we get to the substance of today's video, Here's a quick announcement about an exciting innovation that we're launching at Dunlop Law. We're launching an exciting innovation called Learning Communities. It's targeted to micro and small business owners who think they can't afford legal counsel. Check out the link below and sign up for updates. Thanks. Now let's get into today's video. Now let's get into the details about Virginia's new marijuana laws. First of all, don't get too excited about this because retail sales are still a long ways off. It's going to be January 1st of 2024 before you can walk into a retail shop and buy some weed or some edibles. So cool your jets. Second, Virginia created a new government agency that will be regulating cannabis slash marijuana in Virginia. It's called the Cannabis Control Authority and they have a pretty big job in front of them to create all of the detailed regulations that will give us guidance on how to interpret the law and how to apply it. So over the next couple of years, the Cannabis Control Authority will be putting out regulations and we'll be watching that. So stay tuned for details. Now, personal use of marijuana is now legal. So that's good news for a lot of people and yet there are still some restrictions around that. So um, first of all, you cannot consume, you can't smoke it, you can't take an edible um, in public. So you need to keep this to the privacy of your own home. Secondly, your possession of marijuana is limited to one ounce. Now, we're not clear on how that translates into edibles. So that is one of the things that has to get fleshed out either in the next couple of general assembly sessions or through the Cannabis Control Authority. We're also not clear on how your new right to grow marijuana plants and each individual can grow up to four marijuana plants for their own personal use. But by the way, you cannot have these plants visible from a public street. So you have to grow them in a part of your backyard that's you know, fenced or um, sheltered from public view. You also have to have them tagged with your name and driver's license number, which is an interesting requirement. But at any rate, um, the other real kind of conundrum we have is that typically one individual marijuana plant will yield about 17 ounces or so of smokable marijuana. So, if you're allowed to have four plants and each plant yields about 17 ounces, but the limitation under the law uh, for no penalties is one ounce, how do those jibe together? We're not really clear about that either. So um, I would tread cautiously on that. Um, finally, the last thing I wanna touch on here is 
open containers, quote unquote, of marijuana in your car are not legal. Now, what does an open container mean in the context of marijuana? We're not really sure about that yet. I would advise that you put it in some sort of locked container and put it in the trunk or the cargo area of your car. Do not have it you know, in um, a, a simple container that you could easily open and within reach of a driver or passenger in the car. You probably, probably would be okay, although again, it's not quite clear what open container means in the context of marijuana. So there's still a lot to be um, determined. Um, last thing is you might be aware that up in Washington DC, they have a law that basically allows you to say buy a t-shirt and you get a gift of marijuana along with your t-shirt. That kind of gifting regime is expressly banned in Virginia. So that's sort of the down low on uh, what's happening with Virginia's marijuana law. Um, and you might be wondering like, why did they pass a law that's got so many uncertainties to it and so many ambiguities and contradictions in it? It's hard to say exactly why, but here's my theory. 2021 is an election year in Virginia and we will be electing um, a new governor. And on the off chance that the GOP candidate were to win, um, I think the goal of the Democratic controlled General Assembly and the Democratic governor, Ralph Northam, at this time was basically, let's get this law passed now when we're in control and we know we can get it through. On the off chance that a Republican governor might win or a Republican uh, you know, takeover of the General Assembly might happen in fall of 2021. Let's go ahead and get the law passed now um, while we're in control and we can do it. And then we can always come back and tweak it in future years. So I think they were kind of hedging their bets politically um, because in general, and again, I'm speaking in broad generalities, Virginia Democrats support these changes to the law. Virginia Republicans do not. So I think that's kind of the genesis of why we have this sort of messy legal regime right now. But anyway, those are the highlights, so to speak, of Virginia new, Virginia's new marijuana law. Um, I'm gonna do another video here in a moment on how employers should be thinking about this in the context of drug testing. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, you don't wanna miss it. Uh, I know it's, things are kind of hazy right now. So um, <laughs> anyway, I've had a good time with this particular video. I hope you have too. And I hope you have a great weekend doing whatever it is that you hope to do. This is Trisha Dunlap from Dunlap Law in Richmond, Virginia. I'm out. Have a great weekend. Bye.